Hi everyone, this is Venkatesh from Naresha Technologies. In this video today, let us have a discussion on Lambda Expressions, a new feature of Java 8. Let us have a discussion on this Lambda Expression. The main intention of introducing Lambda Expressions is nothing but replacing anonymous inner classes code. So, let us have small transition how it has been happened. So, the anonymous inner classes the code will be replaced by your lambda expressions normally. This lambda expression is nothing but anonymous method. The method which is declared without name we are calling it as anonymous method or lambda expression. So, let me show the syntactical evolution like this. Generally, whenever you want to declare one syntax of method, return type, method name, some parameter list or argument list. This you are calling it as method body. So, the same thing if I remove this return type, if I make this method name as class name, I am calling it as constructor, we are calling it as constructor. The same method if declared without a method body, we are calling it as anonymous method. Normally, everybody knows this point. Concrete method, method which is declared with method body, concrete method. The method which is declared without method body, we are calling it as abstract method. The method which is having the same name of the class, nothing but constructor. Constructor having the name of the class, syntax of method and behavior of block executed while object creation normally. And today's class is nothing but no return type here like this, no method name and the syntax has been shown like this. Now, this you are calling it as lambda expression syntax or method without name. So, this is already the known part by everyone like this. Parameter list will be there or argument list having the method body and semicolon. Here the method name is not there. Whenever the method name is not there, we are calling it as anonymous method or this is known as lambda expression. Let me show one example program to demonstrate this lambda expression. Suppose I had one interface, interface some transaction. I had one interface known as transaction. In this I had one method in public void with draw. I had one method. This is abstract method now. So, the interface having some abstract method with draw. Generally what happened? Whenever you want to use this method, the method must be implemented within its implementation class. Suppose I am taking one class like this with draw. I am taking one class as with draw implements from transaction with draw one class implements from transaction interface. What is the coding rule of interface? Whatever the abstract method declared within the interface must be implemented here. I am implementing public void with draw into some amount. Here I am putting small message. My intention is to introduce your introduce your lambda expression or anonymous method. So, here I am going to make this withdraw without method name. I am putting small message here. I am putting one small message here. So, my intention is nothing but this is the normal interface I had. So, in my normal execution process, we create object for implementation class that is withdraw. Withdraw some obj equal to new withdraw this is object. One object is created using this object we can call obj dot withdraw some amount. If I run the program I will get the answer and this is the normal model we had interface and implementation class. Now, I want to change this code as anonymous inner class. First I must change this code into anonymous inner class. Anonymous class means the class which is declared without name. We are calling it as anonymous class. 
this anonymous class here, the implementation class what we have here, withdraw. Withdraw is an implementation class now. This withdraw implementation class must be executed without class name. Sir, I want to remove this withdraw name now. Automatically, the implements transaction will go. So, only this class body will be pending here like this. So, whenever withdraw has been gone, hope I am removing this withdraw now. I am removing this withdraw. Because withdraw class name, I am going to remove it now. Because anonymous in our class, here you have to remove this implementation class name now. Now, here obj equal to new some class name you needed to create object. So, whenever we do not have any class name here, we take the support of interface like this transaction and by syntactical or by syntax cannot instantiate the type transaction because it is an interface. But now, I have to remove this class name now withdraw. I to remove this class name now. I will remove this. Whenever I remove this now, this is the class body I had. This is the class body I had. This class body I am cutting it out. I cut it this. This semicolon is there now. The syntax of like this. Interface name obj equal to new interface name. Before this semicolon, I am going to paste it. Now, observe clearly here. Now, this is one interface with the draw class name is not there. With the draw class name not there, but I will get the answer. Amount withdrawn is equal to 100. Means what? One implementation class without name being executed. Here, the implementation class without name declared here. We are calling it as anonymous inner class. This you are calling it as anonymous inner class. What is your intention today? This anonymous inner class must be modified, nothing but anonymous inner class is going to be replaced with your lambda expression, going to be replaced with lambda expression. Now, if by this video you are understanding, this is anonymous inner class now. Now, here to here we are calling it as inner class now. Now, this inner class is not having a name, but the performance is looking like your implementation class, I am getting the output. Now, in your lambda expression, only parameter list or argument list must be there and body. So, what I am doing here now? Now, I will remove this. Observe careful. I am removing this new transaction, this one. I will remove that public void. I will remove this with a draw. Here, I will keep one arrow. Now, anyway, class has been removed. No? I will remove this. Observe here. This is one lambda expression. This is one lambda expression. The anonymous inner class in this program modified as lambda. If I run it, I will get the answer. Same answer. The answer difference not there. Observed, I think. First, I written one interface. Interface has one implementation class. We are creating object for implementation class. Using that object, we are calling that method. So, here the implementation class declared without name that you are calling it as anonymous inner class. Now, this anonymous inner class has been replaced by lambda in Java 8. This is the syntax of lambda. So, this is lambda expression. If I run it, I am getting the answer. Here, interface means you can have abstract methods. Normally, you can have abstract methods, right? Sir, can I have more than one abstract method here? Normally, a interface can have more than one abstract method. If I take one more method here like this, public void deposit, I am taking one method as deposit. Here, error will come. See there, the target type of this expression must be functional interface. In Java 8, they introduced one word known as functional interface one concept came. The rule of or coding rule of your functional interface is the functional interface must contain the functional interface must contain only one abstract method must contain only one abstract method. But here what and 
I am having more than one abstract method. Error will come. This interface is nothing but functional interface. Functional interface. This functional interface rule is nothing but must have only one abstract method. Then how sir? I will take one transaction one here. I will take one more interface like this. I will cut this and paste here. Now according to the rule, it should have only one abstract method only one abstract method here whenever i want to execute this deposit now i'll take transaction 2 i am taking it as obj2 this i am taking it as obj1 equal to int amount closed by semicolon this is one more lambda expression now this is one lambda expression this is one lambda expression i had obj1 here now here suppose I am putting one message system dot out print ln the amount deposited is equal to plus some amount. I am calling this method now obj2 dot deposit from 2000 example. So what you observed here now? There is one concept introduced in Java 8 known as functional interface. The coding rule of functional interface is nothing but the interface must contain only one abstract method. This functional interface is going to hold this lambda expression. See that syntax here transaction 1 obj1 equal to int this is one parameter list one symbol here followed by the body this is known as lambda expression. So, here I introduced one concept known as lambda expression the method which is declared without name by syntax it will be like this, but it must be holded by some reference variable the reference variable created by using interface the interface which is holding lambda expression we are calling it as functional interface. The coding rule of functional interface is must be declared with only one abstract method that is the rule and the method which is declared without name we are calling it as anonymous method. This anonymous method we are calling it as lambda expression. The lambda expression is an replacement of anonymous inner classes. Thank you. Watch me on more videos in Narisha Technologies. Thank you.